Welcome everyone to Pivotal Stats, where we talk about data analysis techniques, business intelligence platforms, and much, much more. So let's go. Hey everyone. So welcome to today's video. And today we're going to discuss what is the difference between custom columns versus conditional columns. So these are two most important aspects of data transformation within Power Query and within Power BI, which we frequently use, but we need to understand why and in which scenarios these can be useful. Now, custom columns are a way to add a new column to your data set using a formula that you define, which means a custom formula that you write. Conditional column on the other hand is a way to apply certain conditions, which are pre-built conditions and using those condition, create a new column. Okay. Now we'll see the examples of each one of them and how we can use them. So let's just jump right in. So I have a data set here and I'll paste the link in the description for the data set that you can download if you want to follow along. So this data set contains the list of players in FIFA World Cup and a couple of their attributes and some of their basic informations. Right. And we're going to use this data set to create a new column. And specifically, we're going to use the height of each players to create a new column. And we'll first create a new column using the conditional column uh, option and then the custom column. And you'll then realize the difference between both of them. So what we will do is there's a column here called height centimeter. Okay. And we need to create a new column within this data set, which will tell us whether that player is a tall player or an average player or a short player. Okay. And the way we define that is through a condition and the condition being if the player is more than 180 centimeters, then that player is tall. If the height is between 150 and 179, then that person is average. And if the player is less than 150 centimeters, then that player is short. Okay. So we need to categorize the new column in this manner. So what we'll do is we'll start with conditional column, go to the add column section and click on conditional column here. Okay. And it will give you a prompt. Now, as I said before, conditional column gives you a predefined operators and conditions, which you can apply to create a new column. So what we'll do is we'll select the column name. So it, it's saying if column name height centimeter, this is what we're using is greater than let's say 180 then the new column should say tall okay then i need to add one more clause so i'm going to click on this button add clause and again height centimeter and i'm going to now i'm going to say is greater than or equal to 150 then the height is average and if both of these conditions are not met in the case of else height should be short. And one thing to keep in mind is the condition applies from top to bottom, right? It will check the first condition. If it not, it is not fulfilled, then comes to the second condition. And if it is not fulfilled, then comes to the last condition. Okay. That's how it is. So just remember this because that ordering is important. If you go by normal logic, the statement that I've given in this second condition says, if it is greater than or equal to 150, then it should be average. So with that logic, ideally someone with an 190 centimeters height would also fall into average, right? Because that's greater than 150. But the thing here is, since the condition is applied in an order, it will check first one. And if the first condition is met, then it will apply the value and then exit out of this logic. So that's why, we are good here. Now I'm going to say, okay. And as you see, I have my new column now. Okay. And if I wanted, I could have given it a name as well. So just in case you forgot to give a name, you can just click on this setting item icon again at the right side on this applied step tab and you can change the name. So let's say conditional column. Okay. So I'm just quickly checking the values which are entered if, if that is correct or not. I'm going to select average and press OK. Ideally, I should not have it have anyone greater than 180 here and less than 150 here. Okay, let's just check. So 
as you see i don't have anyone less than 150 and i don't have anyone greater than 180 okay i have this 180 but nothing greater than 180 okay so that means the logic is working perfectly fine i'm going to remove this filter now now you understand how to create a conditional column and what are its limitations right because there are some predefined conditions which are given there you can only apply those conditions so for example i'm going to click on this setting icon once again i'm going to show you this so the operators that are there available to you are these operators equal does not equal greater than greater than or equal to less than less than or equal to right so these these operators are there and you would be able to apply only these operators also the column that you are applying your condition on is only one column right you cannot have more than one column in this conditional column section but having said that although you would not be able to use more than one column in your conditions but you can compare two columns while using conditional columns okay so this is what i mean so in this same example uh, what if i want to compare two columns okay so for that to happen what we need to do is you will say if a column is greater than or equal to or whatever the operator that you want to use and there's a small drop down here in this value section so right now we have entered a value but instead of entering a value you can also select a column so just click on this drop down and select a column and in this column section i can select let's say if height centimeter is you know greater than weight although it does not make any sense but just want to show you a point that you can compare two columns using conditional columns okay but you cannot apply condition on more than one column in a single statement okay so you cannot say height is equal to something and weight is equal to something so make it tall okay so you cannot do that now let's see how custom column is different from conditional column okay so i'm going to click again come back to this add column section here and come to custom column now the benefit here is now you can write your own custom formulas in order to apply your uh, in order to create your new column now in custom column i want to use two columns instead of one okay so let's just say i want to see players who have height more than 180 centimeters and weight less than 70 centimeters i want to tag them as skinny and players who have height more than 180 centimeters and weight between 70 and 85 i want to tag them as athletic build and anyone else i want to tag them as average so let's just click on this custom column section and add column tab i'm going to write my m query here okay if height centimeter is greater than 180 and weight is less than 70 then skinny else if height is greater than 180 and weight is greater than or equal to 70 and weight again is less than 85 then athletic and anything else i want to tag them as average okay and press okay now let's check whether our conditions were applied properly or not so i'm going to select athletic here and press okay I'm going to come back to my height and weight column here. So if you see all the heights that are there are greater than 180. So this one is correct. And the weight here is greater than or equal to 70 and less than 85. Cool, right? So I hope now you understand the difference between both of them and you will be able to use any one of them depending on the scenario. Of course, conditional columns are much more simpler to apply, but when it comes to custom columns it has much more flexibility and you can create complex logics and perform intricate data transformation activities 
So that's it for today. I hope this was helpful. Please do remember to subscribe to the channel and hit that like button. And please do write in the comment section and what other use cases you think uh, can be used in conditional columns and custom columns. Thank you so much and I'll see you in the next one.